Orangutan. It literally means man of the woods in Malay, and it's easy to understand why. A few years ago, my family and I went to Malaysia with our friends, and visited a place called the Sepalok Orangutan Rehabilitation Centre, in the state of Sabah on Borneo. It was here that we were able to see orangutans being helped by people to recover from traumatic experiences. The centre is located on the edge of a forest reserve, where it is estimated around 70 orangutans live, and the centre's nurseries hold another 25 individuals. The centre is used to inform and educate the public about these incredible animals, without causing harm to the apes themselves. Orangutans are very well adapted for life in the trees. With strong, long arms and shorter legs, they are able to quickly navigate through their forest habitats. They also possess curved fingers and toes, which allows for an improved grasp, and due to the position of their thumbs and big toes, they are able to move hand over hand as well as holding onto branches with their feet. Orangutans mostly eat fruit, but also feed on about 317 different food types, including insects, young leaves, fungus, spiderwebs, and bird nests. A study published in 1988 documented these feeding habits over a four-year period, and found orangutans to be incredibly opportunistic feeders, with their diet shifting around greatly from one month to another, depending on what they were able to find. The food given to the animals in the nurseries is therefore purposefully repetitive and fairly plain, so that the orangutans are encouraged to begin foraging for themselves as they would in the wild. Orangutan social structure is quite complex. They are the most solitary species of great ape, but interactions between individuals still occur. Between adult females, these interactions can either be friendly or more hostile, but males are almost always aggressive towards one another. Studies have found that there are two types of orangutan, resident and transient, with resident females living in territories and raising young within the larger range of a resident male. Transient individuals move around over a large area of land, usually alone, until females form their own home ranges, and males eventually challenge and overthrow a resident male from their territory. Orangutans have been known to aggregate at food sources, and also form groups to travel from one supply of food to another. Orangutans are also very clever animals, and are one of the most intelligent primates. They have actually been taught how to use touchscreens to play games and draw pictures in a zoo in the USA, and in the wild will use tools to complete various tasks. The animals will assemble a toolkit, and switch between the different objects depending on what they are trying to do, such as seed or insect extraction. Orangutans have also been reported to use leaves to amplify the sound they make, known as a kiss squeak, in order to make themselves seem to be a larger animal than they actually are. Orangutans and humans native to Borneo and Sumatra have had a long relationship that stretches back many thousands of years. Some of the local people would hunt orangutans for food, however there are also some groups who would not allow them to be harmed. It was sometime in the 17th century when Europeans came across the animal, and during the 19th century, explorers from Europe hunted the animals to a great extent. There are only two species of orangutan, and they can only be found in the wild on the islands of Borneo and Sumatra. Only 55,000 wild orangutans live in the forests of Borneo, and it is classified as an endangered species. This is due to multiple factors, including one that I have talked about before in previous videos, palm oil. This oil is everywhere, in so many products. It is used in a wide range of items, from bread and butter to lipstick and shampoo, and is in about half of all packaged products in the supermarket. The reason for this extensive use of the oil is due to it being very cheap to grow, and its properties, which make it very useful for things such as making the texture of food better. But despite the benefits, the adverse effects greatly outweigh them. Huge areas of rainforest are cleared away to allow this plant to be grown, destroying all sorts of animals' habitats, and leaving orangutans with nowhere to go. The solution to this problem is to encourage companies to use sustainable palm oil certified by the RSPO. 
The world needs palm oil, so completely eliminating it is not an option, but sustainable oil allows rainforests to be protected, and the product can still be made. I made this video to teach people more about these amazing animals, and to encourage you to do everything you can to save them. It's easy for us to wipe out a species, but it's harder to preserve one. Let's hope we're up for the challenge. Thanks for watching.